everybody. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'll be setting up my bullet journal for 2020. This is actually the first time in my two-year bulleting adventure that I will be setting up a future log. I ended up making these little calendars and I will be they will be available as a free printable on my blog on my website up until December 31st. After that they will become a paid item. So if you want to grab some make sure to check out my blog and my website and um, subscribe and you'll be able to get these guys as a freebie. So anyways, um, I'm just getting all my pieces together <laughs> for my future log. I decided on a gold, black and white theme for 2020, um, given, or well not for the year, but for my 2020 setup. Um, given that it is in line with the 1920s, there's the roaring 20s and 2020, I just thought it would be a fun play. I know that's really popular in the bullet journal world right now, but I wanted to do it, so I did. <laughs> um, so as you can see, the little calendars I made fit within a eight square radius, oh, sorry, eight square row along the top, which makes it perfect to fit six months in at a time. Um, I did do a Monday through Sunday calendar, my reason being I wanted to use these for my weeklies as well. So um, two birds with one stone, basically. If you would prefer a Sunday to Saturday calendar, please let me know. I'll, I can definitely make some changes to the file um, for you. If that's if I have enough requests, I can, I'll be more than happy to do that. But for now, they are Monday to Sunday. Um, I apologize for the Santas in the top left-hand corner. Um, that's part of a December daily project I was working on, and they, I accidentally knocked them, so they exploded everywhere, but that's what those are. Um, here I'm using my Tombow Funosuke brush pen. I'm actually using this for most of the layout. Um, and I'm really, really loving the versatility of this pen a lot. <laughs> so definitely check it out. Um, I'll link it down below. And yeah, I'm very... I'm using a ruler for these lines. Um, I, act I actually ended up spraining my wrist and my arm, my right wrist and my right arm. So things get a bit rocky later on in the video. <laughs> and this is just video one of two that I'll be posting. Um, the second video I'll be posting shortly after this is my January setup. And um, it's, that's definitely not my finest planning moment. <laughs> but it gets done. Um, the gold pen I'm using is a Uniball Signo in gold. Um, I really like it a lot. Um, and now what you see me do here is I used a piece of tracing paper to fit between my pages so that I didn't have bleed through. Um, because I'm impatient and I can't be bothered to wait for things to dry. I've definitely had smudging when I've closed pages before, so what I've done here was I just put a piece of tracing paper in between and it managed to capture most of the wet ink, which was great. So this page is actually very significant to me. Um, again, this is my first time doing a page like this. This page is for my 100 rejections. Now, I know that sounds a bit morose, but... Um, if you listen to Creative Pep Talk podcast, you'll learn that the concept behind the 100 rejections is not so much that you're aiming for 100 rejections, but that you're aiming to put yourself out there. And out of 100 times you put yourself out there, yes, you're going to have rejections, but you're also going to come across yeses. So this is more of a motivation to put myself out there and look for chances Um which is why I had to, I used this quote, chances don't approach you, it's you that approaches the chance. And I, you know, this is a huge step for me. This is very much outside of my comfort zone. So I've been kind of just sitting back and waiting and I can't afford to do that. So this is a bit of a motivation page to get me to get me started and get me going on this concept of putting myself out there more. So 
I'm really hoping to fill this page up. Um, even if it doesn't fit 100 rejections, I'll do another layout. <laughs> but again, this was more just motivation to put myself out there more. So I'm really excited. Again, that was the Creative Pep Talk podcast. Um, it's a really great page, really makes you think. <laughs> So, and again, um, I'll be adding gold accents in. Um, I'll also be doing gold accents on the lettering. I feel like for 2020 setup and for my January setup, my lettering was a bit extra. <laughs> but, you know, it's just been a crazy time of year. So I tend to go for what's easy and relaxing. And to me, that's become lettering. So I put a lot of effort into my, or as much effort as I could, given that my wrist is sprained but <laughs> it is what it is um so again as i mentioned i don't have the patience to wait for things to dry which results in a lot of smudges so therefore i've just been going in with my white jelly roll to clean up some of the worst smudges if you will and the other thing i use is a mono sand eraser to pick up some of the pen and that's really fantastic you want to be very light-handed with that but it's also a great tool to um, get the pick up the worst of it so this layout is also really new to me it's a social media tracker in that i will be tracking how many new subscribers i receive for that particular month um, I'll be tracking my Instagram, my YouTube, and um, my blog as well, my subscribers to my blog. And I thought this would just be fun. Not so much that it means anything in terms of analytics, but just, you know, a bit of a carrot stick situation, you know. Again, having fun filling it out. And then, I guess, from an anal analytical standpoint, it's just kind of seeing what content garnered the most attention as well so we'll see i don't know i'm just kind of excited to do a line graph <laughs> um ever since being creative i don't really get to do much line graphs anymore so <laughs> it'll be fun to do um on the other page is the social media totals so that's where i'll be writing in what my totals are for the month so for example, if I have four, 500 followers and then I gain five more, then I'll put five in my line graph and I'll put 405 in my um, social media totals page. So um, again, here I'll be tracking um, Instagram, Pinterest, my blog, YouTube, and I threw Facebook in there too. Um, Facebook's not my biggest focus right now, but um, it'll still be interesting to see. Um, and you'll see me erase throughout the videos and I'll either be using my Tombow Mono Eraser, which is very thin, very small eraser. Um, and then also my Pentel Click Eraser. I tend to use the smaller erasers to um, catch as much pencil as I can. My goal is to not use as much pencil. <laughs> like, for example, I could have not used pencil on the months, but I did. So it is what it is. Um, I, c I can go back tomorrow and uh, just erase at the top of it. So with my scribbles that matters, I am finding the ink slime on the page a lot. To be fair, I did buy this journal probably about a year and a half ago when they had just changed their paper and got a little backlash for changing their paper so I think they got one of those dad notebooks I have ordered a new one a new notebook and so once I'm done with this one I'll move into the new one and I'll definitely be able to see if this was a dad one of the dad notebooks or if this was a or if this is the way life is in a scribbles that matters um, I still love the journal, but I do miss the old page, the old pages. I'm of the mind where if I wanted a, a Archer and Olive, I'd buy an Archer and Olive. So, and I don't think I'd get the use out of it. So, but anyways, here's my setup for 2020. 
I hope you enjoyed. Next up, you'll be able to see my January setup, which I had a lot of fun with. Um, there's also a lot of colorful commentary, at least silent commentary in my head. But you'll, I'll, I'll talk you through that in my next video. Thank you so much for your time today. I hope you enjoy and please hit subscribe if you like what you see and let me know and I can create more content. Thanks so much.